hello and welcome back to my channel um, I want to talk about my peppers uh, I was watering my plants and I saw that my pepper leaves were flipped over like this uh, they just kind of flipped over as if they're shining away from the Sun as you can see this pepper leaf is turned uh, it's flipped over um, as if it's shining away from the Sun and this one too is the same thing so this plant has a couple of them uh, that's flipped over so why are your pepper leaves calling over like that? Um, it could be the, sign, uh, the plant telling you that something is wrong. So what could be the problem? Uh, one of the problems is stress. Uh, that's the way of the plant showing that it is stressed and it can be stressed by over worrying. Uh, plants need like uh, pepper plants need like one to two inches of uh, water per week. Uh, so when you have too much, uh, the plant becomes stressed. Uh, and it gives you this signal and if you have too little water the same thing uh, happens too so it's good to find a balance in your worrying uh, follow a worrying routine uh, find the balance you can use the finger test to find out when uh, the soil uh, when the plant needs to be watered or you can get a water meter to help with over worrying a well-drained soil can be a huge help and also you water the plants when it's mostly uh, dry Actually, the first time I saw this uh, pepper leaf uh, flipped over in my garden was uh, when I had the worst uh, planting season ever. It rained so much that season and I had so much rainwater, I didn't even know what to do with it. And, but the soil was constantly moist and I, see, I saw that uh, it did affect the plants, it affected the, the leaves, it even affected the fruit. So, uh, if it, so from experience, I know that over worrying, even if somebody is telling you that, you don't know, but from experience, you know that the pepper plants do not like to be over watered. So another reason why your pepper plant is flipped over is lack of calcium. Calcium is, calcium is important uh, to maintain the structure of the plant um, and to maintain the structure of the leaves. So if there's not enough calcium uh, in, the, in the plant, then uh, that's a sign that is telling you that uh, it's lacking calcium. On, on the other hand, you might have cal enough calcium in the soil, but because of the first factor that we mentioned, the overwatering, the plant is not able to take up that calcium and distribute it to the leaves to maintain the structure. So you find it collapsing or drooping or flipped over or bubbling. Another cause of your pepper leaves uh, flipping over can be uh, insect damage, but for insect damage, it usually affects like individual leaves, uh, not the whole plant. You're, sure, you're going to see uh, the signs of it, you're going to see the holes, it's been chewed on and you know, you, you, just, you can't miss it when it's insect damage. So the way to counter that is to introduce beneficial uh, insects into your garden, one of them being the ladybug. Um, but I hear in Amazon that the ladybugs are all gone, they are sold out. Uh, so insects that can uh, damage uh, the leaves of your pepper plants are the aphids, aphids, spider mites and uh, white flies to mention a few. Uh, so if you see the insect damage, just uh, pick up that leaf and throw it away. Don't put it in your compost because they might have laid eggs in it and then if you bring it back, you introduce them into your garden again. Another organic way you can uh, eliminate uh, insects in your garden is to introduce, like I said before, the beneficial insects that feed on these other insects that are pests in your garden. Uh, so that would be a huge help. So curly leaves uh, in your pepper plants are usually nothing to worry about. Uh, I mean, if it's just one leaf or a few leaves curling, then uh, it's okay. Uh, if you look at this, uh, just look at the whole just look at the plant as a whole, uh, the leaves are, even though it's flipped over, the leaves is green, is, um, is, the leaves are green, there's no insect damage, and you can see that uh, there are some fruits coming out right here. Uh, so just look at the plant as a whole, and if it's not, um, if it's not damaged, then uh, it should be okay. And then for me, I'm not going to worry too much about these flipping leaves right now. Uh, for me, I'm looking uh, ahead to next year. Um, I have these. So I have these eggshells that I've been collecting. Uh, when, it's, uh, when this container is full, I smash it down and then collect some more. So this is full of eggshell. This is an organic way that you can add calcium to your soil. 
uh, but some people add it directly to the soil when they plant uh, but I prefer to put it on my compost uh, because it takes a while uh, for the calcium in the shell to be released so I'm gonna add some more organic matter that uh, will give me calcium uh, in my compost so that next year uh, I'll be ready So these leaves are flipped over, at least I know that there's some calcium that they're doing well because just a few leaves are flipped over, so I know they just need a little more. I didn't put lime uh, in my garden this year, I usually do, uh, that's also a source of calcium, but I didn't, put my, I didn't put lime this year. Next year I'm looking to do that. So I'm just going to be keeping an, an eye out for uh, more serious issues. I'm not going to worry too much about these flipping leaves. Um, at least if you look at the structure of the plant and if you look at the plant itself, it's producing uh, fruits. There's no uh, blossom end rods anywhere here. Uh, so at least I'm doing something right. You can see that the plant is doing okay. That's the top. It has some flowers coming up. The fruit looks good. I don't see any damage on it and the stem. The stem of the plant looks good. Um, oh, there's another shoot here uh, with a flower. So that's going to give me um, another pepper. But I just want to get to the root right here. I just want to get to the bottom. Uh, the bottom is still fine. Uh, so at least I'm doing something right. Uh, until next time, uh, keep planting, keep learning, and keep growing, and I'll see you.